Hello everybody, welcome to Zdenek English podcast. Here is another episode for you. My name is Zdenek. I'm your host. And today you can also see me because I'm recording this on my or for my YouTube channel as well. So not only is this broadcast as a podcast, not only is this published, I should say, as a podcast, it's also published as a video on YouTube. You can find me on Teachers Denek YouTube channel, so you can actually see me there. If this, if you have never seen me before, perhaps because you've always just listened to my voice, well, this is your chance to um, a- actually see me in person, almost in person, via the internet, let's say. So today I need to have a word with you. I need to discuss something important, something that I have thought about a lot. Uh, it concerns this podcast, the future of this podcast, and I'm also going to offer something to you. It's going to be actually uh, uh, me explaining this project to you and trying to pitch it to you. Yeah, trying to pitch it to you. Hopefully you will like it. I'm, I'm pretty sure you will. So there's one thing I need to get out of the system first, get out of the way. Uh, I have already attempted to record this episode once. Yes, last Sunday when I did my usual uh, The Next English Podcast live on Podbean, I did exactly this episode, but I didn't like it. It was too long. I was going into too much detail. It was a bit confusing. So that's why this one is going to be shorter, more succinct, more to the point, and That's what we need because it's an important one for me, specifically for me. So why why is this happening? Well, and oh, one more thing. There is a script. I'm not going to publish the script because, as you know, I sometimes go off the script. But there are some notes in front of me. So if it looks like I'm reading from notes, yes, I may be reading from my notes a little bit. But it's important that I do that because I want to just, you know, speak about the things that I need to speak about and not to get distracted too much, not to go off on a tangent, right? Which is something I never do on this podcast. <clears throat> anyway, it's time to, or it has been time to take stock, you know? I need to take stock, I had to take stock. What does it mean to take stock? It means to pause to think about all the aspects of a situation. That is actually the definition I found online. So, Why did I need to take stock? Well, it's simple. It's been one year since I started doing mini lessons, since I started offering uh, people the mini lessons for becoming the next English podcast patron. Or if you become the next English podcast patron, you get a mini lesson every week where I teach you vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation. And I think I've done a good job. I think there must be around 50 of these mini lessons available to all my patrons. I think I've done a good job. I think this this is a wonderful idea. I think the people who receive these mini lessons are happy with it. Nobody has ever complained or anything. I just don't like the the fact that the podcast isn't growing as much as I would like it to grow. There could be uh, 1000 reasons for this not happening. One of them is that there is a lot of competition these days. You know, every single teacher has their own podcast right now. Another reason could be that I don't really promote it on social media any that much anymore, not even on Facebook as I used to. And it's simply because I am focusing my attention on my other project, which is uh, Learn English Through Football. I'll tell you about that more later. So there are a few reasons for this happening. Some of them are um, in my control or under my control. Some of them are not. Out, some of them are out of my control. Can't do anything about that. So the problem here is that I, I want to see this podcast grow. I want to see that it's heading in the right direction. I want to see, I want to monetize the podcast. Let's be honest. I've been doing it for nine years. It's, it's too long to just sustain it in the way it is to just do it just because it's been too long i love it don't get me wrong i've it has brought me so much uh, so many good moments and i've met a lot of interesting people through it and listeners as well and 
people have supported me over the years, but I'm I am I am at uh, at a I'm at a crossroad right now because I am turning into um, um, in, an independent English teacher. Yeah, I'm trying to go solo. I'm trying to start teaching independently. I've been trying to do that for the past two years, and right now. I'm in a better place than I was, let's say, last year. So there is some progress. But when it comes to this podcast, which I love with my whole heart, I just don't see enough of progress. So that's why I have to take stock. I'm taking stock right now. And this episode is part of it. And I need to have a word with you. I need to talk to you as my listeners. So... Like I said, it's unsustainable the way I've been doing it. It's too much work for me. It's not the right focus because I want to focus on football people as well now. And yeah, the, what, what it what it actually means, and I'm, I'm sorry to say this, is that the podcast is in jeopardy. Jeopardy? What is that, Zdenek? Jeopardy is like danger. The podcast, this very podcast is in danger. It's true. It's true. Um, I think... I will probably start phasing it out to phase something out. It means to slowly reduce it, you know, and maybe even stop it at some point. I can't imagine it, to be honest with you, yet. That's the problem. In my head, I'm like, my brain is telling me, Zdenek, this podcast has to stop right here, right now. There is, you're not monetizing it. You're spending too much time on it, which is true. For I've, I counted it. It's at least four hours four hours a week is just too much and i have patrons but it's it doesn't pay my time it just doesn't um so i have to make a decision why one way or another at some point um and i don't know yet so right now i'm just talking about it i'm just thinking about it i'm taking stock because I don't want to make some sort of hasty decision, you know. I don't want to make a rash decision that I will later regret. I hope that's clear. I hope it makes sense. But um, but I have to make some decisions. So the decision I'm making is that I will reduce the number of podcasts that I will be publishing, the, the regular podcasts, uh, because it's just too much for me. And also, I think I will probably stop doing them live as well, because there's not enough people listening live anyway. There's always like eight to ten people, which is a fraction of um, the number of people that actually listen to this podcast. And I'm not sure that it justifies that. And frankly, there is a lot of hassle with the YouTube lives, uh, with sorry, with the Podbean lives anyway, because I have to talk to my guests. I have to explain how it works. We have to test the the gear. You know, we have to test the microphones. That then there are some problems, echoes. Uh, it's just too much hassle, too much work. So doing the lives doesn't justify it. And also, it's too many episodes right now. It gave me some structure, by the way. There's not all bad. Like it's it's it hasn't been a failed a failed project. Not at all. I've learned how to do lives. I have gained more confidence. With doing lives, I have realized that mistakes don't matter too much and I don't have to get, um, like, what's the word for it? I don't have to sort of feel bad and feel guilty about making mistakes too much. Yeah, so I've learned a few things and definitely, definitely it has been a positive thing, but it's time for a change. Uh if I don't do it as a, as a live show, it also gives me the flexibility to record a video like this and put it on my growing YouTube channel. That's right. Paradoxically, the YouTube channel is growing. I have more and more subscribers, but the podcast just isn't, you know. So I just have to focus on what's working right now. And one more thing. I have a Czech podcast as well, and that podcast is also growing. So it's not about the medium. I think it's about the fact that almost every single teacher is going independent right now and they all have the same idea to start a podcast, which is brilliant. I love it, but it's killing me. It's killing this podcast because you guys, 
I am competing for your I'm competing for your sort of attention. I'm comp competing for your time, yeah. So you have a choice. Will I listen to Luke's English podcast or uh, English with Rob, Rock and Roll English and other podcasts that I love myself and I listen to myself. But uh, that's killing my podcast because if there are too many good podcasts it's going to be difficult for me to compete. Yeah, I'm not saying this podcast is not good enough. The people that are listening to this right now listen for a reason or have been listening to this for a reason, for uh, maybe for a, lot, a long time as well. So I, I partly feel bad about this as well because I will be letting you guys down, you know. I'll be leaving you in the lurch, but I hopefully I will manage to offer a compensation. I'm going to talk about that soon. It's going to be a really cool offer. So to sum up, there is a new way I will be doing the podcast, new strategy, you could call it. And uh, for those of you that uh, feel disappointed, I apologize, or to those of you, I should say. But most of you will probably get it. I think you, will, you guys will get it. I shouldn't speak for you, but um, do you get it? Let me know. Let me know on social media. Send me an email, teachersdenek at gmail.com. What do you think about this? Do you understand me? Is it okay with you? Okay, so like I said, the main reasons, the podcast isn't growing. I'm not getting more downloads. It's going down actually. And I'm not getting any more patrons. It's not going down with the patrons, but it's staying where it is. So I don't know. It's just, I need to see progress. I need to see it's going somewhere. I need to see results. Especially now that I'm independent because everything I do as an independent teacher, I need this computer. I need to sit in front of my computer. Yeah? And it, that's why it all kind of blends. It all kind of merges into one thing. Podcasting, you doing YouTube videos, doing the marketing, trying to sell people my services, my courses. Everything blends into one thing. And that's why it kind of starts feeling like a job, even the podcast. You didn't didn't used to be like this. It absolutely didn't used to be like this. But that's because I worked for a school, you know. So I would come home and then relax recording my podcast or even record the podcast outside. But the pandemic has changed absolutely everything. I had to make this decision. It's a radical step in my career. I'm going independent right now because I think there is potential in it. And I think I can pull it off. I think I can do it. So... I want to keep this podcast for now, but I think I'm gradually phasing it out. Maybe some people will convince me to keep going. Maybe I will change my mind. I don't know at this point, but as it stands, fewer episodes each month, but I don't want this to affect the patrons. So if you are my patron, you will still get your mini lessons. I might not do it the way I do it. I could teach you in a different way. Uh, but you will get the mini lessons. I could teach you through reading an article and then analyzing the vocabulary in that article or grammar, pronunciation, what have you. And occasionally when I do publish a podcast, I will do a mini lesson out of it the way I did it. So th I'm not canceling the mini lessons for now, not yet. Maybe I will at some point, but right now I want to keep it the way it is. So yeah, but instead, I want to offer you something else. So, what is the new big thing, Zdenek? It's called drumroll. That didn't sound like a. That didn't sound like a drum roll, did it? Sorry, I can't really do drum roll. I don't have a drum here. I don't have a drum kit. Anyway, the new thing is called the Achievers Chamber. Yes, you heard correctly. The Achievers Chamber. And no, it's not a new podcast. No. Um, but I am inviting you through this podcast. Yes, I'm inviting you to join. If you feel like you're not getting enough practice, enough English practice, you have enough listening, let's say, because of all these podcasts, my podcast and other people's podcasts. So if you feel like that, but you don't really talk to people. You don't really have any lessons with, with a teacher, maybe because it's too expensive or I don't know, different reason. You are shy or I really don't know. Here's what I'm offering to you. It's a membership in a secret group 
uh, I say secret. It's don't worry. It's not a cult. It's not a religious group. Uh, we don't have an initiation process. You know, you don't have to donate your blood or sperm or anything like that. Don't worry. There's no ritual like that. Um, this is you know, no no blood will be spilled. No one will die in the process. It's I say it's a secret group because it's a closed group. It's only for people who really want to be part of this. Uh, it's a community on Discord. And I know I have mentioned Discord before on this podcast. I have been inviting you to join that group. I know perhaps most of you have already done that. Um, it's a brand new group, the one that I'm talking about now, the one that it's called the Achievers Chamber. It's a group that I've created for my private students for my patrons, the next English podcast patrons, for people that have been supporting me, for people that want to work with me on another level. I would I would you know, I would hazard to guess that it's a it's a it's a higher level. Yeah, I would like to think it's a higher level. I think it is. Um so it's a community on Discord, a brand new Discord group or they sometimes call it a server, Discord server for my students and patrons. Now, once again, it's not the same one that I've been advertising here. That one is called Learn English Online, and it is public, and anyone can join it. And we often get kids joining it, and people who don't have good English, or people who don't care, or people who don't know me. It's very random. Like, it's still working quite well, and it's a collaboration project. So I'm I'm collaborating with other teachers there as well, so we're kind of... We host our events and it's not just me, it's others as well. So that group is still going to be, you know, functioning. It's I'm not cancelling it. I'm not scrapping it. That group is going to work side by side or simultaneously, let's say, with this new Achievers Chambers group. Also, the Learn English online group is is completely free, yeah? So anyone can join, but that's that's sometimes a disadvantage actually because if you just give some peop- give something to people for free, they don't always appreciate it enough. That's just the way it is. You get something for free, you become suspicious if it's good enough, yeah? That's that's the way that it is. It just it just is like that no matter what you're thinking. But this new group is mu- is going to be much, much better. I'm convinced it will be much better. I will be much more involved and wa- way more motivated to work with you guys to, to, to create this, this wonderful community of people who want to learn English and support each other, encourage each other, and want me to co- kind of guide them, to kind of oversee them. And uh, I am... 100% sure that that group will be more active and just more to the point and just, you know, it will be just completely mad, 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 crazy good, you know. Um, by the way, if, if, you, if you can't, if you can't be act- as much active as other people, don't worry, there is no punishment for being less active in this new group. You can be as active as you really want to be, but there is a high likelihood that the number of active people in this new group will be will be high, you know. So I have created this group, this Achievers Chamber group, with the best intentions at heart to help people level up or improve uh, their level, their English level. And I know the vast majority of people that are not that feel like they're not progressing that feel like they are stuck just are stuck because they don't do enough practice. You see they they may do a lot of um they may work a lot on their receptive skills like reading and listening like listening to this podcast, reading books and things like that, but they don't actually practice. They don't actually do much they don't actually develop their productive skills, mainly speaking and also writing. So this group will be about that. It will be about practice, yeah? Um, It will be about coming out of that comfort zone. It will be about getting involved. It will be about actually, you know, showing up there and talking to people. 
because Discord has these, this wonderful feature of voice chats and you can do video calls with people so you can turn on your camera or just call someone via Discord and you can have group calls. So it's just, it's just amazing. I love Discord. And if this is your first time hearing about Discord, don't worry. Don't worry. I've got your back, which means uh, I've got you covered, which means I will show you the ropes, which means I will show you how it works. Okay, so don't worry if you are a little bit scared. Don't worry. That's why I'm here, right? So uh, this will be a way you can work closer. You can kind of work closer uh, with me. Does, does that make sense? You can work more closely to me. That sounds better. All right. Um, it will also give people some, 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 some kind of structure. The members get more learning structure. Yeah. So there will be like certain things that will happen at regular times. So a bit of structure doesn't hurt, right? A bit of guidance from me as well. The opportunity to ask me questions about the English language. Um, I will be using all my experience that I have achieved throughout my life. I will be drawing on 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 all that teaching experience, uh, on also on the experience of running the previous Discord group and uh, one more Discord group uh, that no one talks about anymore, and also um, my experience teaching. English and also specifically teaching English online because I think I, I have been improving in this myself. So who is this group for? Well, I have said some, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Limits, let's say. Um, the limits are that you need to be at least B1, which is intermediate. And then there will be B2 students, C1 students, and even it goes up to C1+. plus. So this is not for beginners. This is not for elementary students. This is not for pre-intermediate students. And it's also not for kids. Yeah, I don't want any kids there. So it's for adults. If you are 17 and listening to this and you're like, Zdenek, but I'm not a kid. If you are 17 and you create a fake ID and you promise that you behave, I might have you in, actually, you know? But you know what? When I say kids, I don't want any 12-year-olds or 15-year-olds there, you know? I want to guarantee everyone that it's it's a group of adults, people who actually, you know, that uh, whose mental mental capacity is at, at the same level, let's say. Uh, okay, so I am convinced that if you are a Zepster, you're actually at that B1 level, Probably you are B2 or C1, let's be honest, because I speak at at this speed and I don't think an elementary or pre-intermediate student can follow my speech the way I speak here on this podcast. So I'm, you know, I think I think when I when I'm offering this to you, I'm pretty sure that it's every single one of you would, would be would be able to to uh, join this group uh, or to, to sort of meet these requirements that I have for joining this group. Um, and if you are not sure, well, we can have a chat. We can have a quick five-minute chat. And I can honestly, if you're really interested in joining, and I can honestly tell you what your level is, I can assess your level because I've been doing it for years as a teacher. I've always been assessing my students' levels. It's part of my job, okay? And I've worked with students of all different levels, so I can tell. All I need is just a few minutes, and I will be able to to tell you what your level more or less is, yeah? Based on your speaking, okay? Now, another cool thing about this is that we're going to have international students in this group. We already have people there, actually, that promised that they, they, they sort of enrolled in this, and... Uh, we have three Czech people. There will probably be uh, quite a few Czech people because for some reason Czech people listen to this podcast. I wonder why. I don't really speak Czech on this podcast, but uh, I happen to be Czech. So I guess some people see me as a role model, someone who has achieved um, this level, who has reached this level of English and is able to to speak and they they might be in a similar position as I was, as I used to be or they are already at a similar level as me. I think that's why. Anyway, it's not just Czech people, not at all. 
Uh, it's like we are, we have one French person there, one German person, one Italian person, two Spanish people. It's a it's a mix, and that's what makes it nice, and that's why you should join because let's be honest, it's a bit boring if you speak to your countrymen in English because it just doesn't doesn't make sense, does it? And here you will find people who have a different nationality. If you're wondering, but how old are these people there? Well, you will be surprised. Some of them are in their 20s, some of them are in their 30s, some of them are in their 40s, and some of them are in their 50s. There's no discrimination, no age discrimination. You can be as, as old as you want to be, and I am pretty sure you will find someone who is similar age to you as well, so you don't have to feel like the odd one out. We don't have any pensioners there yet, but you could also join, of course, if, if you are indeed a pensioner. Why not? Uh, honestly, why would you not want to be a part of this? Yeah, if you are like Zdenek, this is amazing. So tell us more. How do how do I even join? How much does it cost? Can I even afford this? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can afford this because I um I made a decision to create three different levels of membership. Yes. And it all depends on your budget, which means how much you are willing or able to invest, yeah? How much you're able to to pay for this, basically. So I'm trying to basically make it make it affordable. That's the right word, affordable for people, yeah. So and obviously the the higher level you sign up for the more you get from me yeah but even if you get the basic level you are still getting a lot of value let me tell you more about this um uh i could really just give you my account number here but i'm afraid that uh i might get so much money from you guys that uh, i would no longer need to work as an english teacher no that's that's never gonna happen right but um yeah one more thing it's money back guaranteed I will give you your money back if you decide it's not for you. Uh, you can leave for whatever reason. But please don't do this. If you join, join because you think you, you want to join. Join because you think what I'm going to offer to you is of some or better great value to you. Okay? So, and you can also end your membership at any time. You just pay the membership like monthly. You pay a monthly fee. That's how it works. It's a monthly membership fee. Uh, so if you, for some reason, have to leave the community or you feel like it's not what you thought it would be, then it's okay. You know, I don't want to have people that really don't feel comfortable in the group. I don't want to have such people there anyway. Yeah. So, okay. So, Zdenek, this is a good, excellent idea. The price is reasonable. Did I tell you the price? I did not. Okay. So, it's four euros for the basic membership. 8 euros for the silver membership and it's 20 euros for the gold membership. This is a monthly fee, okay? Now, you need to know what you're getting, right? You need to know what you are paying for because I didn't actually explain much. I told you it's some kind of weird secret group. It's not weird. It's not weird at all. You might me meet a few weird people there like like me. Uh, but um, that's okay, because everyone is weird in their own way. You are weird too, I assume. I hope you didn't take offense uh, and, and and left or, or stopped listening. I know you didn't, because you're still listening to this for some reason. So, yeah, don't worry. I will do my best to explain all this to you. I will hold your hands... If you don't understand Discord, if you're like, oh my god, another app, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, what's next? Don't worry. It is my job to make you feel comfortable, okay? Um, so, um, I'll show you how to install the app. I actually have a video explaining that as well, so I'll just send you vi the video. And you will get it soon. You will, you will get it soon. You can run this app on your mobile phone or on your laptop. And you do need a decent internet connection, obviously, for calling people and and video calls, yeah. So um, you have to be from a place where, where you have a good internet connection, of course. So, yeah, 
Yeah, and then you just need a microphone and a camera, which you automatically get if you have a smartphone. So you know what I mean. Um, if you are already a patron, um, I should probably now explain what you are what you are getting. Yeah, okay. Let me let me read it because I've got it in a PDF file here. Um, right, I'm trying to read it fast, but you can obviously change the pace of or just change the speed of my speech in your app if you are using indeed an app that allows you to do that so um, the basic membership in the achievements chamber gives you this you become a member of an exclusive community of motivated english learners c uh, levels b2 b2 to c1 where you can make international friends and practice english with each other in voice and video chats well, that's what you get in the basic membership then you get access to regular group events like Friday Drinks group session. It's a free conversation, freestyle conversation with me and other members every Friday at... Um, this one is at specific time. It's at 8... Hang on. 9... Sorry, 9.30 p.m. Central European time. Uh, I know there is a problem if you are from a different time zone, by the way. I know. Yeah, If you are from a different time zone probably you're not going to benefit from this gr group as much as others you can still join you can we can still make it work in some uh, in some respect but you need to weigh up whether it's worth it for you yeah but this friday drinks event is like an opportunity to uh let your hair down you know to unwind to just relax sit back and chat with like-minded people people who are learning english and me there will be one event, um, Q&A event, where you will be able to ask me language-related questions like uh, what's the difference between present perfect and present simple or uh, what's the difference between tell, say and tall, talk and stuff like that or something to do with pronunciation. Q&A, you come, you ask me questions or you just send me questions via an email and then I will answer. I will try to record this event as well. These two events, the Friday drinks, the, the Q&A, it happens weekly. Then, because I want to do English through football, I want I would like to start a, a football discussion event as well, which I want to run once a week. But that, that will only start once we have enough football, in, foot, football enthusiasts there. Um, so, yeah. Anyway... Uh, there will be a possibility of uh, you running your, your own event if you want. And if people are interested, of course, we can get you involved as much as you want, even in different time zones, if if this is what you are after. And um, yeah, and po possibly if this is getting more and more popular, if this gets more and more popular in the future, I might add more events. What's an event, Zdenek? Event is... Um, it's, uh, it's not a lesson, yeah? Less... Um, Event is just uh, we are we are usually talking to each other. Maybe the Q and A feels more like a lesson, but event is more like freestyle. Whereas lessons, the it's like where I teach, you know, where I specifically teach and I correct people as well if they give me the permission to do it. Uh, okay, now another thing you get as the basic member is you get access to my podcast mini lessons that's right to Zdenex English podcast mini lessons these ones yes so if you have been thinking of becoming a patron but it wasn't enough for you well now you have a better reason to become a patron because I will teach you vocabulary grammar and pronunciation through these mini lessons I will keep doing them at least for now and if something changes uh, I will try to replace this with something else for for the group members you know I don't I don't ever want to promise something and then not deliver the thing that I promise. I'm not like Boris Johnson or any other politician, you know? So, actually, Boris Johnson delivered Brexit, didn't he? He got Brexit done. Yes, he did indeed. And that's part of the reason I'm here right now, talking to you about this. <laughs> because I didn't go back to England, because it's too complicated right now. I have to, I have to get a visa. Zdenek, didn't you say that you wouldn't go off, go off on a tangent here? Yes, I did say that. All right, sorry. Who are you apologizing to? To yourself? Are you talking to yourself now, Zdenek? Carry on with what you are supposed to carry on with. Right. 
Next, you get a 15% discount on my popular group courses like English through role plays, English through board games, or any courses I make in the future. I'm planning to create English uh, pronunciation course in the future. It's going to happen. It is going to happen at some point. Okay? So you get a discount as a group member as well, as the Achievers Chamber group member. This is all you get. Oh, and you get my support with your learning process. So I will answer your language questions. Please don't ask me more than one question a day. Yeah, because if there's someone who like asks me 20 questions a day, I will go crazy. So be reasonable. But you can ask me questions in that group. Either I will respond immediately or I will take it to the Q&A, which I may then use as a platform to answer these questions or just, you know, yeah. I can also have people directly there uh, asking me questions in a voice or video chat as well. Yeah. So I will encourage you to start your own podcast if you want, to start your own event, to start your own vlog. I want to work with people like that, people who have ambitions, people who want to really, really improve their English. Yeah? I've told you already on this podcast that there are some listeners that listen to this podcast that started their own podcast, and it's amazing when that happens. So you can start sharing in this group your podcast and you get my support and other people's support. And these people might be your first listeners, the people in the group. So, basic membership. Now, if you want the silver membership, this will cost you 8 euros a month, so double the amount of the basic membership. You also get, on top of what I've already described, you get uh, one uh, sorry, one 30-minute group conversation lesson every week, which is awesome, right? Now, it's a lesson, so I'll be a teacher there. We'll do it through Discord. Very simple. We have a topic, animals, let's say, cooking, I don't know, um, <clears throat> swimming, whatever, and then I build a lesson around it, a conversation, simple conversation lesson, nothing too fancy, but it will be fun because that's what you need. I'll be dividing you into pairs, I'll be teaching a lesson and giving you some feedback as well. So once a week you get this 30-minute lesson if you are a silver member. Um, and you also get the option to be one of the faces of my YouTube live lessons, uh, which I already do. And I have been giving this privilege to the people who are the Next English Podcast patrons. So now it's going to change. Now it's going to be the people who are in this membership group. Okay? So... That's that. Um, this will be occasional YouTube lessons, so it's not going to be like once a week, but um, occasionally you will take turns with the people interested. And it's not like if you become a silver member that you have to do this. You don't have to do any of those things, but you will be able to, you know? So if you can't make it for one event or one lesson, that's not a problem at all, or you will make it next time, yeah? This is very flexible, this membership. And the prices, I think, are so cheap because I, I'm i hoping there will be more and more people. So then ultimately it will pay off for me, you know. So that's, that's, that's the idea. But uh, when I started, you guys that are the first members will be the people that will benefit the most because I will spend a lot of time with you and uh, you will be a lot with me and uh, you will have me only for you, you know, so to speak. So, yeah, uh, you could become a gold member, though. That will cost you 20 euros a month. And in this gold membership, you will get everything I've just described. So you will get everything that a silver member would get and the basic member would get. But on top of that, you will once a month be able to choose one aspect you would like to focus on. Uh, word, word stress, present perfect, second conditional, TH sound, anything to do with vocabulary pronunciation or your fluency or anything and then you will uh, join an event one of the events the friday drinks let's say and i will then you tell me beforehand what aspect you are focusing on and i will give you feedback after the lesson i will tell you how you did what you could still work on yeah so this will happen once a month for you and then additionally, you will get a 20-minute one-to-one lesson with me once a month. One-to-one -one lesson with only me, which obviously the one-to-one -one lessons are always the most expensive ones. So here you get 20 minutes with me 
if you want, you can send me uh, some a piece of a small piece of writing, a short essay beforehand, or a short recording, five minute, ten minute recording beforehand. I can have a look at it and um, you know just make some notes about it as well if you want before this twenty minute lesson. And I want to use this lesson as an opportunity to to guide you. So uh, it's gonna be you sort of telling me what kind of progress you've made as a learner, what you have done, what you are planning to do. We will set some goals for you. This group is called the Achievers Chamber. So I want I want the members to achieve things. I want the members to feel like they are progressing with their English. I want to work with people that have the ambition to become better at English. That's the idea. Yeah. There's also the money back guarantee thing. So if you don't like it and you leave within seven days from joining i'll give you the money back but again please don't take advantage of this please don't if you are like ah i'm gonna join and see how it is but i'm 100 sure i don't want to uh, stay because you know i'm one of those people that just want to pay for something that they, they don't want to pay for something you know uh, right, uh, I'm sure most people are not like that. Zdenek, it's a cynic in you talking again. <laughs> right, okay, so, by the way, if you are already a patron, you're like, what's gonna happen now? What do I do? I don't get it. Alexa, stop. I have to have a lesson, so I'll have to take a break now and finish this later, but hopefully it's going well and it makes sense to you. Oh, let me just let me just say say this one last thing. So if you are a patron, you have three options. You can either remain a patron in a way you did. Uh, this might be because you don't want to um, uh, you don't want to join the group for some reason. It's just too much commitment for you. It's not really much commitment, but okay. If you if you think this, I will let you. You might think the time zone is really bad. Yeah, most of the events or lessons would just happen in the wrong time zone. I get it completely. You might not have time for whatever reason. You just don't want to be part of this. Totally fine. You can still remain the next English podcast. Patron, just bear in mind, there will be fewer podcasts now. Um, but you will still get your mini lessons. Sorry, it's just the way it has to be. Uh, you can stop being the next English podcast patron, of course, and get the membership instead. And you will get those mini lessons from me in an MP3 format. Yeah, I will find a way to do it to just get it to you. Uh, it's the way to do it. But if you do want to remain, if you do want to uh, still remain, um, huh, how do I say this? If you still want to be the next English podcast patron because you like how the Podbean app um, sends you those mini lessons because it's kind of convenient to do it through the app. You still can do it. You just pledge one dollar, you know, which is the minimum, and remain the patron, and then join the membership. You know, you can do both. Whichever way you prefer, it's up to you. I will let you do it, of course. So, if you, by the way, if you have never been a patron, uh, I sincerely hope and believe that this is a fair offer and hopefully a good compensation for reducing the amount of time I will be spending on this podcast and the for reducing the number of episodes i will be publishing you know uh, hopefully this is a good offer guys and i have to take a little break but i'm going to sum up the reasons why you should join the achievers chambers group in a second after this break <laughs> 